It's Nicole coming in with a Dollar Tree DIY. I'm so excited to bring you this one because I love this time of year and I love creating and decorating for fall, Halloween, and of course Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well anyway, this is going to be a Halloween decoration um, made totally with items that I got from Dollar Tree. So let me show you what it is. It is a cute little hanging um, lantern or light, if you want to call it that. It's just simple little items, like I said, from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you two different versions of this. This is the first one that I came up with, which I thought was really cute. And um, it just has a cute little... Um, battery operated tea light in it but the other version that I'm going to show you actually has the light the corded light that you can actually plug up and use as an indoor light if you will um, so if you want to see how to make this stay tuned and also stay tuned to see what you're going to need to make this Okay, everybody, let's make this cute little um, hanging lantern. I've tried to record this thing, I know, three or four times, and I'm about out of it. Well, anyway, hopefully this one will go smoothly. Okay, what you want to do first is remove the um, chains from the baskets. You know, these right here. And they just unhook really easily. They have these little hooks, and you just take them off. Okay. Next, you want to take your pencil cup. Um, this one, I've already made the hole in it. All I did was take a um, screwdriver and a hammer and just made a hole. Um, and then I took some pliers and kind of just manipulated the bottom, just, you know, kind of pressed everything down and made the hole wide enough. And as you can see, it has glue on it. Like I said, I've been trying to film this for the longest. <laughs> but anyway, that's how I made the hole. It's really easy. Um, just be careful, of course. I mean, use common sense. It's not that hard. I just put it on a hard surface, took a couple of wax at it, and got some just regular um, needle nose pliers and just kind of pressed the hole open a little bit. Far enough for me to be able to slide my little light fixture if I choose to do it that way. Like I said, there's two versions of this and this is, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. These are the little lights that you get at Dollar Tree and these are meant, these are the C7 lights. They're supposed to be the ones that go into the little um, holiday um, houses, the little villages that they sell during Christmas and for Halloween as well. And they illuminate the little houses, you know, the little villages, whatever. They look like this. They have the little metal um, prongs on the side to keep the light inside the house. But you can do all kinds of things with this, make jar lanterns and things like that. Well, anyway, uh, you just want to make sure that the hole in the bottom of this um, pencil cup is big enough for this light to slide through. And you can use this as a hanging lantern. And all it is, and let me grab the one that I showed you in the clip before. Here is the one that I showed in the picture, and I'm hoping this is showing up because it's dark, but as you can see, this is the cup with the tea light. Well, what you do, if you use the light, you would hang the lantern this way, and the light would go through oops, right here where my finger is. And you just embellish it from this point, meaning you put your bird up here and so forth. I mean, it's really a nice, versatile little craft. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. So let's finish assembling. I'm gonna put that back in there. Let's sit this down so we can move forward. Okay. So now, what you want to do after you make your hole is add a bead of glue. You can use hot glue um, 
or whatever strong adhesive that you have, hot glue will work fine. It'll just make the project all the more recyclable. I mean, if after the holidays you want to use these for your spring planning or some other craft project, you can just pop the um, pencil cup from inside and just peel that little glue off and keep on trucking. Well, I'm just going to make these personally for myself as holiday or Halloween decorations. So I'm going to put these up once Halloween is over. Um, that's just my choice, but you can do that with the super glue. I mean the hot glue, <laughs> rather if you want. And Dollar Tree also makes a, or they carry the super glue brand of the E6000, um, which is a really strong adhesive and that works fine as well. So I just had this on hand, so I'm gonna use the E6000. So I'm just gonna run a bead of glue for the thousandth time <laughs> around the bottom of this cup. But um, yeah, you'll get the idea. Just put a nice generous amount because you want it to adhere to that wire. Okay. There we go. Just had a nice little thick bead of glue. Alrighty. And just pop that on the bottom of one of the baskets and just let that dry. Now, if you were using super glue, the drying time would probably be cut in half versus um, using the E6000. But again, since I'm gonna put these up for the next holiday, I wanted to use something a little more um, sturdy and secure. Now, again, you would allow this to dry, but I'm just gonna go ahead for the purposes of saving time, move on forward. So at this point, you could add some embellishments like your bird. <laughs> If you were going to use it as the tea light or put the tea light in the bottom like right here like on the first one that I showed you or once this dries you can add the bird afterwards once we finish assembling um, so for the purposes of showing you the other version I'm gonna go ahead and just assemble so what you want to do is put your basket on top the second basket on top and just kind of you know line it up the way you want to. I try to put the little um, hanging notches, if you can see it right here, um, next to the one on the bottom basket. But you can kind of space them out and have it look a little more decorative if you want to. But I kind of liked it this way. And that's the way that I did the first one. So I'm just going to put it on top and get my zip ties. Now, <clears throat> the basket's not going to be flush um, naturally. I mean, it's just not gonna happen um, but you can just kind of line it up the best you can and then put your zip tie on and tighten it down again there are no rules to this I mean it's not gonna be a perfect little you know project or whatever and that's what makes it great gives it character so you're just gonna tighten down your zip ties and of course I chose black to kind of go with the color of the basket and the theme and all but you can use whatever color you want whatever color baskets Again, there are no rules. And just space them accordingly and just tighten everything down because this is what's holding this whole structure together. There we go. Oops. There we go. And just get it as tight as you possibly can. All right. And then I'm going to add one more. Let's see where I wanted to go. I guess we'll put it right. And you can use as many as you want to as well. It really doesn't matter. All right, there. And there we go. And my little makeshift <laughs> table cover. Um, because my desk pad is black, I had to put something down so you could see it. So hopefully you're seeing everything. So I'm going to cut the ends off of the zip ties once I have them as tight as I can want them or can possibly get them. There we go. All right, so this is the basic structure. And again, allow that glue to dry, depending on what kind of glue you're using. Um, but this is the basic structure of your lantern. And all you would do is just add your chains back to the tops. And um, you're good to go. You can either use your lamp, 
which would be hung from this end. And here I'm gonna make sure I support that cup. But you'd hang your, you put your light through the hole. Whoops. If I can do this with one hand. <laughs> but you would insert your light through the hole. You may wanna paint the, you know, depending on what color your cord is, you may wanna paint it black so it'll go with it or add some, you know, spider webbing or something to camouflage. But anyway, You'd slide that through and then just, you know, pull it forward so it would be inside and just plug it up and you have a cute little lantern. Or again, you could use it this way, which is the way that I showed you in the first um, finished version of this and put a tea light. You can use a bigger tea light depending on, you know, if it fits inside the cup. I just used one of these because I had them on hand. Um, but yeah. You can use a nice little faux tea light. I would not put a real candle in here because some people would do that. I mean, if you were going to do that, watch it and not have this little foam um, bird or anything because I would just use it plain because you don't want um, anything igniting or whatever. But yeah, I would just suggest a faux candle um, in there. But yeah, this is your basic structure. And you can embellish and do whatever you want to do. Um, you can add some of these spiders with the spider webbing, kind of stretch it around the um, basket if you want to. You can add all kinds of things. I mean, Dollar Tree has the cutest little holiday, um, you know, items for Halloween as well as whatever holiday you may want to make these for. You could do this for Christmas and add um, some Christmas ribbon or something. I mean, you just have to think outside the box. You have the basic structure right here in the lamp or the lantern, and you can just go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the chain back on. And I'm not going to embellish anymore because, like I said, that's totally up to you. But that's what I did for mine, and I thought it turned out really cute. So, yeah, I'm just giving you the basic foundation to start your project with. So, you just hook these back, or the chain back on there, like so. Easy to remove, easy to put back on. And one more get this there we go through the hole I love this project I love trying to come up with ideas using you know affordable craft items and Dollar Tree is like the favorite spot of mine but there you go Oops. you got your little hanging basket again love 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 this so again here just pop a tea light in here let me turn it on first <laughs> and these things you get two for a buck from Dollar Tree and they have the big, well, this one, oh, goodness, I think I got a, oh, there it goes. I was going to say I got a dud. But you just pop your tea light in the bottom. And hang it up. And there you go. So, really cute and easy. And I like it just plain. It just looks spooky. <laughs> but, yeah, there you go, y'all. Hopefully, this was a detailed enough video because I'm telling you, I tried to do this like three or four times like uh but anywho here's the basic structure run with it if you um decide to make this tag me on instagram i'd love to see what you come up with my um information is below in the info box so yeah have fun be creative and happy halloween <laughs> bye y'all